Hello, I'm Lucrezia Mullerini. London has long been the chosen destination for thousands of tourists from the Middle East. But anyone travelling to the capital from cities such as Dubai is being warned about the dangers in some of our most famous tourist hotspots. Oxford Street, Marble Arch, Piccadilly and Soho, which are frequently packed with foreign visitors, have made it onto a list of areas classed as unsafe. And the timing couldn't be worse, coming at the height of the tourist season, as Ria Chatterjee explains. These are go-to places on most tourist maps, but some visitors are being warned off. Residents of the United Arab Emirates have been told by their Ministry of Foreign Affairs to avoid these so-called dangerous areas. Traditionally, post-Ramadan, the city sees an influx of visitors from the UAE. Oxford Street is busy, it's bustling, but is it a no-go area for Emiratis? The police here say there's absolutely no area of London which should be avoided. The official warning could be linked to two separate attacks in the city this year. One at the Cumberland Hotel, where three women from the UAE were attacked with a hammer. Two weeks later, an Emirati couple were robbed at gunpoint in their Paddington apartment. The owner of a travel agent on Edgware Road told me people won't be easily put off. This incident can happen anywhere, I mean around the world, in any state, any country, any city, even the safest ones. All area around Nice Bridge, Edgware Road, Oxford Street is very busy, still very busy. You can see the faces are, they are from the Gulf. On their website, the ministry highlights specific areas, stating they have high crime rates for pickpocketing, theft and fraud. Of course it's wealth. Uh, these areas such as Harley Street, um, Knightsbridge, Mayfair, they are the targeting areas. The police say the incidents involving UAE nationals earlier this year were shocking but very rare. Ria Chatterjee, ITV News. Well, with me now is Robert Hall from London First, which helps promote the capital around the world. Uh, Robert Hall, thank you for joining us this evening. This warning, it couldn't come at a worse time, really, the height of the tourist season. No, but there are a lot of tourists in London at the moment, mm. millions of tourists. And we have about half a million people coming from the Gulf every year, which mm -hmm. is up 6%. Uh, on the year previous. Uh, so it's quite natural that there are more targets, if you like to put it that way, in London at this time of year. It is unfortunate, mm. and I certainly give my sympathies to the people who've been attacked. Mm. But I think, as your previous commentator said, we have to keep this into perspective mm. in relation to the number of people who have an entirely safe and enjoyable visit to London. It's quite rare. Have we ever had a warning like this before? No, this is coming from one particular source mm. out of the UAE, quite naturally, because it was their nationals who were attacked. But no, those sorts of uh, uh, comments, uh, reports, do not come up very often because attacks are relatively rare. Mm. Um, the police announced that crime is down 6% mm -hmm. uh, over the last year in London. Burglary is down 8%, which is the lowest in 40 years. So overall, the capital is one of the safest places to be. Should we be at all concerned though that tourists who are visiting from these countries hear this kind of warning and basically puts them off. I mean, this could have a, a really uh, catastrophic effect on London's economy, couldn't it? Well, I don't think it would be catastrophic. Mm. It will undoubtedly have a short-term dip. People will be concerned. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the warnings that people are given, both from their own countries and from ours, should be heeded uh, in terms of looking after their personal safety when on the streets, just as you would look after your handbag when you were walking around. That's what we would ask visitors to do. Uh, and if they take those sensible precautions, then they should have no reason to be worried about walking the streets of London. Are there actually any areas that you would advise tourists to avoid? Not really, because I work in the very areas that were quoted in the uh, report there, mm. in Leicester Square and Piccadilly, and I walk there every day, and admittedly I'm not from the Middle East, um, but it is an entirely safe area to walk. And mm. The police would certainly not encourage any no-go areas in London. They don't announce any, and there aren't any. So I think uh, wherever you are, whether it is in central London or on the outskirts, take sensible cautions when you're out and about. Okay, Robert Hall, thank you for joining us. Thank you.